Mutual independence is used quite a bit by reliability engineers as they design systems that will perform a, a large fraction of the time. We're going to consider a series system of n mutually independent components. And mutual independence in this case intuitively means that the failure of one component has nothing to do with the failure of the other component. And these components have probabilities of functioning P1, P2 up to Pn. Here is what's known as a block diagram of a series system consisting of n equals 3 components. In this particular case P1 is the probability that component 1 will function, P2 is the probability component 2 will function, and P3 is the probability component 3 will function. All of these components must function for the system to function and what we'd like to do in this case is find the probability that the system functions. So the reliability of the system, which is the probability that the system functions, in this n component series system can be found by multiplying the probabilities associated with the independent components. So the probability that the system functions is the probability that all components function. And that is true because of the design of the system. When they are placed in series in this fashion, if one component goes out, then the system goes out. Now because of the mutual independence, we know that the probability all of them function will be the product of P1 times P2 all the way up to P sub n. And that's what you get here. And you can write that using the pi symbol in this fashion. So this is how you calculate the system reliability of a series system. And this is in many ways the worst possible arrangement of components. There's no backup here. When one component goes out, the entire system goes out.